calling all wine lovers. Grab a bottle, grab a glass, turn your phone to silent and escape reality for a few minutes. This is the Global Fine Wine Podcast. I'm your host, Ross Anderson, coming to you from 2112 Studios in Sydney, Australia. Hi, yes, and welcome to episode number two in our Bordeaux Blend Travels. Uh, we are back in South Africa. I think I mentioned that this is going to be uh, a little bit on South African, and then we'll have a look at the other countries. And uh, we're looking at uh, this beautiful wine from uh, Dele Graf. Uh, can I, there we go. It's on the screen. Uh, Dele Graf, the Bung Hook, uh, 2018. It's a Bordeaux blend. And uh, this is the runner-up double gold. So second place and runner-up double gold was shared with an American wine. And we'll get to that in another episode. Uh, but I wanted to uh, just talk a little bit about Dele Graf. Uh, one of the most stunning wine destinations you could ever hope to go to. And it should be top of everyone's travel list when in South Africa and traveling through Stellenbosch and Pahl and all those beautiful regions. I get asked a lot by people, uh, where would I go in South Africa? And uh, there's always a good handful of wineries that I recommend. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of amazing wineries, but from a travel and a tourism perspective, you can't beat this place. Dele Graf, stunning setup on the side of a mountain, breathtaking views, incredible food. Um, there's even a boutique shop in there and a diamond shop, uh, which is just what you need at a cellar door. But we're going to have a quick look at Dele Graf. I'm going to pop up on the screen uh, some information about Dele Graf. Um, and for those listening uh, who don't see a screen, uh, you'll hear everything about it. So here it is, Dele Graf, the Bung Hook, uh, 2018. It is uh, from Stellenbosch, uh, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Vidot, Malbec, 14.5%. And as I said, uh, this is the Bordeaux Blends Class runner-up double gold, as in second place uh, at the 2023 Global Fine Wine Challenge. Now, about Dele Graf. So, inspired by the landscape, culture, and natural beauty of the Cape Wineland setting, uh, Dele Graf Estate is a destination devoted to beauty in its many forms. Uh, created by renowned Diamante Lawrence Graf OBE, I hope I said that right. Anyway, uh, experience flawless hospitality, cuisine, wine, art, and spa, and embrace the peace and serenity of your breathtaking surroundings. Deeply rooted in ancient soils, our 17 hectares of vineyards benefit from a combination of maritime and mountainous terroir, planted with Bordeaux red and Chardonnay grapes, which are expertly tended by hand. Once harvested, they receive meticulous care on their journey from vine to glass, unfolding with elegant flavors that capture the intensity of the South African sunshine. Positioned by the world's best vineyards for 2023, as 36th in the world, which is quite an achievement if you have a look at the list of the top 50. Anyway, let's get on to some of the feedback and commentary from our judges at the 2023 challenge. So uh, Tony Patterson, Master of Wine uh, from Australia, described this wine as rich and chocolatey. The palate is bright with beautiful flow. I love the classic proportions. The wine keeps evolving in the glass to reveal floral tones. A little fresh sage, warm cherries, and a touch of fresh leather. It's one of the more complex wines uh, on the table, or I guess in the class. Uh, Jane Skilton, Master Wine from New Zealand, describes the wine as having masses of sweet fruit, but still manages to retain a degree of freshness. Big, silky tannins, soft, plump palate. Uh, Hewan Hook from Australia describes this as a very good, deep, bright color, raspberry, tamarillo, and mint aromas. Peanutty oak palette is a bit tight uh, and gives it 94 points. And Anthony Mueller from America uh, just sums it up by saying, yum. Brilliant balance between sweet oak, sweet herbals, and juicy, just ripe fruit. Smartly made, balanced, fresh, and complex. A delightful wine that brings me back for more. Enjoy with food and barbecue and gives it 93. Uh, so I kept looking around uh, the world of wine and to see what else we could find on this wine. The Trophy Wine Show 2024 uh, in South Africa gives this wine 92 points. Uh, winemag.co.za uh, gives it 93 points. Uh, Tim Atkin, Master of Wine from the UK, uh, gives this wine 95. 
And as I said earlier, uh, the world's best vineyards, 2023, positioned Delegraph at number 36 in the world. So uh, quite the write-up for Delegraph and for this wine. Uh, now, as always, the best place to find this wine is to go direct to Delegraph itself. Um, uh, their website is delair.co.za. Uh, if you're shopping around South Africa, port to port, uh, and various other merchants have this uh, online. And if you're in other parts of the world, I'd recommend you jump onto wine-searcher.com and type in Delegraph the Bung Hook 2018. Uh, if you're in Australia, bravenewworld.wine, uh, send those guys an inquiry, then uh, this could be imported into Australia for you. Uh, so I'm just going to stop sharing the screen now and pop back up. So uh, this is uh, episode number two, uh, Bordeaux Blends. Uh, we're still featuring the wines of South Africa. Uh, and if you can get your hands on something like this or any of the Delay wines, uh, you will not regret it. This will sleep beautifully in your cellar for a number of years and will absolutely reward your patience. Uh, that's episode two. Stay tuned for uh, lots more on Bordeaux blends from around the world. Thanks for joining. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us again on this episode. If you have any stories to share or topics to discuss, please contact us via the website or send us a direct message through our socials. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to this podcast channel. You'll find all our available platforms from the link in our bio. Till next time, stay safe and cheers.